transition to our second presenter. And again, please feel free to um, share accolades and comments into the chat. If you have any questions, we will be answering them at the end after the panelists have gone, but feel free to drop them into the chat at any time in case you will forget them. Um, and let's go ahead and have our second presenter, if you don't mind sharing your screen and getting ready to start. So Navarro Jones. All right, so welcome to my presentation, Talking Black to Beowulf, Drill Music and Conversation with the English Epic. I'll start off by providing you with my rap sheet my name is Milagro Jones. I was born and raised in homelessness and poverty. I was jumped into an inner city street gang at a young age. I spent time in juvenile detention centers, jails, and prisons, and I received my GED while serving a 20 month to 10 year sentence in state prison for assault with intent to maim. I transferred to UCLA from Los Angeles Trade Technical College, where I received my associate's degree in English. I am a Mellon Mays Fellow, researching drill music under the guidance of my faculty mentor, Dr. Adam Bradley. In the English epic of Beowulf, the Gaots and the Danes operate in much the same way as inner city street gangs within the literature of drill music. In Beowulf, the young men are divided up into warrior bands. These bands submit to the leadership of ring givers. The ring givers are responsible for providing their followers with precious jewels, gold, and mead to drink. In the epic of Beowulf, there are two distinct tribes, the Gaots of Jotelands, a northern Germanic tribe, located in modern-day Scandinavia, and the Skildings or Shieldings, the Danes, a tribe descended from Danish warrior kings. These bands celebrate their victories in battle by drinking to excess within Mead Hall, such as Hedorot, the Mead Hall of the Shielding King Hrothgar. The Shieldings descend from the great Shield Chiefson. His heroism is described. Scourge of many tribes, a record of Mead benches, rampaging among foes, the terror of the Hall troops has come far. The early game literature of drill music takes place within the confines of Dro City. According to the Chicago Sun-Times, Dro City is a faction of BDs and GDs. Complex Magazine explains that Dro City was named after Samuel Spicer, known as Sajo or Dro. The BDs and GDs came together due to common interests, common backgrounds, and common goals similar to the Gayots and the Danes and Beowulf. Chicago street gangs were traditionally organized under a strong leader such as Larry Hoover, the founder of the Gangster Disciples. However, due to the targeting of law enforcement and successful RICO indictments, leadership in gangs became fractured and sets came together to create factions that blurred the lines of rivals and allies. With the notoriety that drill music brought individual, gang members became superstars surpassing the hierarchy of leadership within their gang structure and notable figures like Chief Keefe ascended from trap houses to mansions. In Beowulf, the Danish king and ring giver Rothgar is under the continual assault of Grendel, a demon descended from the clan of the mythical Cain from the book of Genesis, whose family tree consists of ogres, elves, phantoms, and giants. Beowulf, a hall troop of King Hygelic, gathers his men and sets out to Rothgar's mead hall, Hedorot, in the land of the Danes. He explains to Rothgar that he is a kinsman of Hygelic and requests the opportunity to purify Hedorot and face Grendel in hand-to-hand -hand combat in order to raise Hygelic's fame. This collaboration between, Deots, between Danes and Gaots was purchased with the man price. Rothgar explains to Beowulf, there was, a feud once, there was a feud one time begun by your father. With his own hand, he had killed Heath Olaf. Rothgar tells Beowulf, I healed the feud by paying. I shipped the treasure trove to the Wolfings. In the time of Beowulf, the warrior bands could end a beef and call a truce by paying a man price or providing treasure equal to the value placed upon the life of the man who was killed. In this way, Rothgar purchased the allegiance of the Gaots who Beowulf is a member of. In the world of drill music, on the other hand, a beef can arise at any time. And although it may simmer, it can heat up and boil over without warning. No price can pay for a man's life. And in Dro City, the factions had to click up to wage war against rival gangs and protect themselves from extinction. As drill music expanded from Dro City to other Chicago neighborhoods, a Japanese immigrant from Yamagata Prefecture known as DJ Ken Aeon stumbled upon Big Keith, Chief Keith's uncle, and rented a room from him. He saw the talent in Chief Keith and invested in production and videography equipment. He produced Chief Keith's mixtape Glory Road and his first viral single, Bang. He also shot several music videos for Chief Keith and provided videography for his first live performance at Adriana's, a popular performance venue in Chicago. DJ Ken Aeon and Chief Keith clicking up exemplifies African-American and Asian-American literary and cultural exchange. Within English tradition, within English poetry, a tradition known as flighting is similar to African-American toasting. 
An example in Beowulf of two warriors engaging in poetic insults in a manner identical to flighting is the back and forth between Unferth and Beowulf. Unferth says, no matter therefore how you may have fared in every bout and battle until now, this time you'll be worsted. No one has ever outlasted an entire night against Grendel, to which Beowulf responds. Now, I cannot recall any fight you entered, Unferth, that bears comparison. I don't boast when I say that neither you nor Brecker were ever much celebrated for swordsmanship or for facing danger on the field of battle. African-American toasting, including examples such as Rudy Ray Moore's Signifying Monkey, influenced hip-hop with its traditions of ciphering, freestyle rap battling, and later diss records. Hip-hop's influence on Southern Trap and Southern Trap's influence on Drill can be heard in Lil Jojo's diss record towards Chief Keef's 300 set, BDK, 300K. Dr. Jesse D. Ruskin from the Department of Ethnomusicology at the UCLA Herb Alpert School of Music identified various musical influences in drill music ranging as far as the 2000s trap, a 3-2 clay pattern that can be traced to New Orleans and West Africa. On Chief Key's song, Every Day He Rhymes, 300 Swole, We Be Up In The Place, and OTF, I Rep That Every Day, GBE, I Rep That Every Day. In his song every day, he is bringing fame to the 300 set of Black Disciples and the OTF, Only the Family, and GBE, Glory Boys Entertainment Factions. Lil Jojo's BDK is rhymed over the same beat as Cheek Keys every day. Lil Jojo rhymes, they claim 300K, they claim 300, but we BDK, we stacking so you know we cracking trays. Elsewhere, he rhymes about Brick Squad and D-Block. Lil Jojo has beef with 300 because they are Black Disciples and he is BDK or Black Disciple Killer. When he refers to stacking, he is talking about a tradition of throwing up gang signs that look similar to the dancing called tutting. And when he says we are cracking trays, he is talking about disrespectful hand gestures that show hate to 300. References to Brick Squad and D-Block are examples of Lil Jojo attempting to bring fame to his own set and faction in much the same way that Beowulf was trying to bring fame to King Hygelic. Chief Keef, like Beowulf, ends up getting the last word. He tweeted that Lil Jojo was a fan and wanted to be like him after he was gunned down in Chicago city streets. In Beowulf, the warriors spend time in the meat halls drinking excessively, and in the world of drill, gang members drink lean and smoke marijuana. Just as Grendel catches the Dane sleeping and ambushes them, many drill rap lyrics speak about gang members who were caught lacking and murdered because they were too high on drugs or intoxicated on lean. Grendel is unremorseful and earns no honor after death. Beowulf is killed as a result of his lifestyle. He lives by the sword, and his heroism and courage result in his death battling a fierce dragon. In much the same way that Beowulf cannot survive dragon fire, drill rappers, despite their hardcore lyrics, street mentality, and violent lifestyle, are not bulletproof and often fall victim to homicide and gun violence. In Beowulf, this lifestyle is portrayed as heroic, but in drill music, it is described as a harsh reality that few can escape with their lives intact. Many of the founders of Drill, such as Pac-Man and Snow from Joe City, died before their 26th birthday. There were millennials raised in gang-ridden inner-city neighborhoods. The Gen Z Drill rappers they have influenced often die at younger and younger ages. Lil Ronald, killed last month in April in Chicago, was only 14. Ring givers were loaded with treasure and set out to sea. Pac-Man, the founder of Drill, was honored with the celebration of life, and his memory is kept alive by artists like King Louie and the celebration of Drill Day in Drill City. Like other victims of gun violence in Chicago, drill rappers are honored with rest in peace t-shirts, funerals, and shrines containing teddy bears and liquor bottles. Drill music is a unique form of African-American literature created by inner city gang members in Drill City. They were influenced by Southern trap, New York hip hop, and other musical and literary contributions. They made an art form that gang members in the inner cities and slums worldwide use to express themselves today. I plan to contribute to the legacy of drill music by researching gang literature as literature. I came to UCLA believing I needed to put drill music in conversation with the English epic like Beowulf for this music to have relevance as English literature. Now I realize that drill music can stand on its own. The youth who spit their lit in the inner city have become English lit in the university. My presentation is dedicated to all those in the inner city who have lost their lives to gun violence and those of us who have survived and must deal with PTSD as we attempt to find truth reconciliation, and make sense of the lives that we have left behind. Thank you. Wow, thank you for that. That was great. I was taking some notes. <laughs> All right, uh, next up, we actually have a set of co-presenters. Um, so, Mara and Kiara.